So first up is a, a blue, obviously blue goes well with white. And I paired it up with a Converse because it's got some blue details with Converse's. So it kind of complements that. Chose a sort of a great socks. You could go for a white socks if you want, but gray socks sort of elongate your leg a bit more. So it doesn't sort of look like a boot, you know what I'm saying? If you wear white socks, it will sort of blend in with the, uh, the shoe. You want the Converse shoe to be quite slender, you know, because that's the property of that Converse shoes, is they are very squashed, all right? Now, keep your top really simple. I kept it white. Both has no um, collars because I feel like the, the look is better without collars. It's more sort of Asian inspired look. And these collars are, you know, collarless shirts are pretty good with this uh, combo here. Keep it drapey, keep it flowing. Um, You'll be all right. Next up is if you can wear just a simple tee with the trousers. Um, if you can find the t-shirt as plain color, like really light gray or white, and if you can find some color like this logo that matches the paint's color, that would be better. Or if any logo at the back, you will also want it to be not too loud and complement the color of the trousers, all right? Next up is you can pair it up with a stripy shirt, but keep it blue. What's nice about this shirt is it's got different shade of blue, sort of complements the pen, you know what I'm saying? Keep it all blue. With this look, you kind of want to go monochrome as much as you can. Um, you can try black color as well if you want. That always goes, or gray. I like to keep it monochrome and have that, you know, cohesiveness if possible. By the way, I tend to keep a ponytail. I think a, a little ponytail looks pretty good with this look and these combos. So I'll keep that in mind, all right? Now this is a deeper blue, it's a little bit thicker, it's a flannel look, you can still go for it. I like the white button sort of talking to, to the shirt here and keep it drapey. Uh, throw up the sleeve if you want. If you're feeling really sort of, you know, a night out look, you can throw on a, uh, a stressed denim jacket. Keep it simple as well. Obviously the fit needs to be oversized, preferably. You know, the shoulder line is important, guys. Keep your shoulder and framing as broad as you can. Uh, go to the gym and work on your shoulders. 
that's, uh, that's very, very important, okay? These are a couple of ways you can wear these uh, wide blue jean looking trousers. These are more like samurai and um, kendo um, wear, let's say. You know, it's very sort of traditional Asian style. So if you kind of want to pull these off and they call it something like a modern samurai look, you know, I kind of agree with that so yeah there's a couple of ways to go about it don't shy away from it you know keep at it keep experiment let me know what you think let me know how you go uh comment down below subscribe and i see you in the next one